Hey, good morning. Um, hey, I just want to talk about a little something I was reading in the Bible this morning. Uh, it was in the, a, uh, the New Testament, Hebrews, uh, chapter 9, and uh, it discusses the Old Testament versus the New, New Testament. And just in case anybody was wondering, uh, you know, the difference basically is the Old Testament was uh, God's plan of salvation was through through the sacrifice of animals, okay? And they were delivered to God through the Holy of Holies, which was a place of worship in the tabernacle, and... Uh, and they were delivered by the high priest, okay? And these animals had to be uh, pure, no blemishes. They had to be perfect. Everything had to be perfect, basically. And God had a set of rules how this high priest was to deliver this this animal or the shed blood or this, the shed blood of this animal. Shed blood was necessary because uh, the blood needed to be shed for the remission of sin. Okay, now this is basically God's law. Blood has to be shed. So the high priest would go in and he would deliver this um, the sacrifice animal to God. Now, uh, he would do this once a year uh, at, you know, uh, in the Jewish holiday of Yom, Yom Kippur. Now, this, this sacrifice of the animal would cover everybody's sins okay, that believed in God. And this is this is uh, how they did it, and um, you know the Old Testament shows that we have to follow the Ten Commandments, um, which is which is the law, okay. And if you don't follow the Ten Commandments, you have to basically be forgiven of your sin through the sacrifice of animals. Now, what the Old Testament shows is that none of us can follow the Ten Commandments. Okay, that's basically the goal of the Ten Commandments, uh, or basically the goal of the, the Old Testament. God showed us that we cannot follow the Ten Commandments. Uh, even today, we can't follow the Ten Commandments because we're human beings. We fall all the time. We fall far short from, from living a sin-free life. And if, you'll, if you try it, you'll see, that, you'll see that I'm right. You'll see that God's, what God says is, is right. We cannot follow the Ten Commandments. Um, that's just a little side note, okay? So uh, now, now, now the New Testament, basically, the Old Testament, basically, is God showing us what is to come. And when I say what is to come, I mean the New Testament, okay? We have God has a new agreement with us, okay? Um, since that we cannot keep our, since that we cannot keep the Ten Commandments, and we cannot live a sin-free life. God was looking at us like, and he kind of showed us that he gets tired of looking at us, show, you know, killing animals all the time to have our sins forgiven, okay? God loved us so much that he gave us a better sacrifice, okay? And this is how the new sin comes, the New Testament comes in. The New Testament is Jesus Christ becomes the shed blood, the perfect, pure, uh, object to be sacrificed to God for the remission of sin, okay? And that's that's Christianity in a nutshell, and then that's that's God's plan, and that's the truth as shown in in the Bible. Okay? So what happens is uh you know, you have to understand that once we die, there'll be judgment. Okay? God's going to judge us and he's going to look at us as if we're sin free. And obviously none of us are sin free. So if you're if you're not sin free and you haven't lived a perfect life and sacrificed the animals and followed all of God's rules, then God's not going to allow you into heaven because heaven God is holy and heaven is holy. And if we're not if we if we're not sin free, then we're not holy and God cannot let us into heaven. So 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 in the New Testament, God has given us His only begotten Son, that by by believing on Him and what He's done, is our way of shedding blood and having our sins forgiven. Because 
Because Jesus died on the cross, okay? He's the one that took the sacrifice. He's the one that was the sacrifice. He's the one that is taking God's judgment from us um, by by dying for us. He's the one that took the judgment, okay? So it's no longer it's no longer a perfect animal, but it's the perfect man who is Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ was sin free. The Bible tells us that he had no sin, okay? And he is God, so he is perfect. So he loved us so much that he took that sin punishment for us, okay? So no longer is it a high priest that gives us the animal sacrifice, but Jesus Christ has become the high priest. He has become the animal. Um, and and this is the this is the uh, this is God's new plan, the New Testament, okay? So by believing in that, by believing that you're a sinner, by repenting for your sin, repenting meaning that you know that it is not your way, but it's God's way that is that is uh, that we need to follow. Okay, that, this is repentance, understanding that our way is wrong, God's way is right. God's way is through Jesus Christ, and calling on Jesus Christ through prayer. Okay, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay, now that's God's plan. It's that simple. It's as simple as one, two, three. Understanding that we're a sinner. Understanding that we need to repent for our sins and calling on Jesus and asking for forgiveness. That's it. And then God, when that happens, and that you, you do that from your heart, God will see that. When you die, he'll see that you have accepted Jesus Christ. He'll look at you as if you are Jesus Christ. He'll look at you um, as sin-free and he'll allow you into heaven. It's that simple and that's what's taught in the Bible. So if you do that, um, you'll, you'll have eternal life in heaven with Jesus Christ. It's in the Bible. Check it out. May God bless you.